so in this video i'll be showing you how i i achieved this beautiful headband first you'll be needing a fabric you can use any fabric of your choice this is a linen fabric i'm using so you also be needing a headband you can buy this in the market and it's very very affordable you'll be needing a headband piece so we'll also be making use of a needle and a thread a needle and a thread so first thing first you cut out your fabric into square shapes you cut out your fabric into square shapes as you can see i'm doing in the video so these square shapes are eight in number and i'll be showing you the measurement i use to achieve this particular square shapes so as you can see i'm doing in the video i measured for the length 8.5 inches and also the width the width i'm making use of 8.5 inches so i'm going to start folding this fabric so you see how i've placed the fabric so this is the first folding this is the first folding and i'm going to be folding it for the second time so this is the second time this is how i folded it then i'll be using my needle and i'm going to just sew with my needle i'll use my needle to to sew as you can see So once I'm done using my needle, my needle to sew the edge is going to form a flower. It's going to form something like a flower, you know, which we are going to be using for the headband. This is how it is. And so I'm going to use scissors to cut out the excess below. As you can see, I'll use scissors to cut out the excess below so it can be very neat and make my work easier. So as you can see, you can see it. So I'm going to be doing the second one so that you understand. I'm going to be folding it again for the for the second time, as you can see. Then I'll also make use of my needle and also start sewing at the edge. See the pattern I'm sewing it. Look at the pattern I'm sewing it. So this is the first one I made. So that's the pattern I'm sewing it. So it has formed a flower at the so I'm also going to use my scissors and cut out the excess of the second one. I'll use my scissors and I'll cut out the excess of the second one. So you see how neat it is. So that's how we're going to continue to do it. So this is the third one I'm doing right now. So this is faster enough, you know, because I've done two already. So this one will not be to just be the same thing. So cut out the excess. So as you can see, my flower is already forming. So let's continue. So can you see our flower is already forming? It's already forming. So I'm trying to add the third one, the fourth one. And once I add the fourth one, I'm going to just tie it at the end. I'll tie it at the end. so having achieved the fourth one that has made the fourth flower i tied it at the end and repeated it so here as you can see i repeated the same thing i did for the first one 
so i'm going to be adding two of them together i'm going to be adding two of them together so you can actually do it once and for all you know but if your flour is much like from it if your flowers are much you have to divide it into two to make your work easier but if you're doing something like four or six you can just add it once and for all and tie it at the end so as you can see i'm trying to attach the two flowers i've made i'm trying to attach it together so that it can form one flower piece So as you can see, it's already forming into one piece flower. With the help of my needle, I'll be tacking the both sides, you know, to make the flower into one piece, you know. So as you can see, I'm doing right there. So I'm kind of finding it difficult to... You know to attach the other end as you can see so i'm going to be cutting out the excess here i'll be cutting out the excess so once i cut out the excess of that inner part it's you see it's now very easy for me to attach the flowers it's now very easy for me to attach the flowers So as you can see, I've attached the flowers. I've attached them together. So I'm going to be beading that this particular area. I'm going to be beading the center of the flowers. I'm going to be beading it. And so the next thing you, you should do is to tag the back. You know, to reduce the roughness. You can also decide to cover it with a piece of cloth. I'll be showing you also in the course of this video. So this is the first flower I made. I'll still be showing you how I achieved this. And the right the, the one on the other side is the one I just made right now. So I'll be beading the center. So as you can see, I'm already beading the center of the flower. I'm already attaching my beads, you know, with my needle, with the help of my needle and thread. As you can see right there. So that is how it looks with the beads I just added to the flower. So you can decide to use a piece of cloth to cover the back side to make your work more neater as I said earlier. So you can use your needle and thread to tack it, tack it neatly, you know. So I'm going to make use of this elastic as you can see how small it is. And I'm going to be folding it into two. I'll fold it into two then I'm just going to sew it. So as you can see, it's already sewn. I use my hand needle to sew this. So having done that, I'm going to be passing my headband into this elastic. You're going to see what I'm going to make use of it. So this is how I placed it. So this is how I placed it. This is it because I'll be placing the flower there. You see how neat it is below. So so this is how i'll place my flower so what i'm doing i'm going to be attaching the flower to that elastic not directly to my headband so as you can see so i'll just use my needle and i make sure i tack it properly especially at the four sides of that you know of that headband you know i'll be i'll be tacking it tightly at the four sides you know, so that it can be very firm so i'm done with tacking my flower to the headband so this is how 
it looks this is how it appears so you can actually wear this on your hair you can wear this to a wedding you can wear this to any event you know it's a beautiful piece that you love everyone loves this beautiful piece so you can actually sell it if you want to sell it you can actually make it for someone you can actually wear this to a wedding you know you can make this for your bridals your bridal train you know you can make it for anybody you can make it for your babies to your children for parties you can make it in a smaller way different sizes of your choice any size you want to make this you can actually achieve it so this can also be made with different fabrics of your choice you can make use of fabric to match your your wear your clothes so you can make use of any fabric of your choice to make this flower headpiece thank you for watching this video i hope you learned something and i, I hope you enjoyed this video